Hello everyone, welcome to the Planet Side 2 stream. Yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to say something now. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> have his mic on. yeah no, Nick uh, <laughs> Nick doesn't need a mic, he's actually just gonna project his thoughts into I yours yeah, right through the internet. In yeah. No, the T R stuff is poorly en engineered, poorly designed. <laughs> uh, the mic's built in, we just don't have it set up with the system. Okay. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yep. Awesome. Yes. Loud okay. and clear. So yeah, welcome everybody to our advanced specialization program stream. And that, there you go. There's advanced specialization stream. Advanced specialization stream. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about a bunch of stuff today. Uh, but for before we start, uh, uh, I just wanted to uh, thank the uh, community for, for that amazing community smash. Uh, I just everybody involved, the, the casters that were casting, the force commanders that were uh, just leading those forces in the game, the people who organized it. It's incredible to, to see that many people all part of the same event together. Yeah. And just all the participants. It was, it was an amazing match to watch. Um, it just shows Planet Side at its absolute best. Uh, I, I can't, I can't. I've just been gushing about it ever ever since it, it, it happened. So, uh, well, 400 on 400 is pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's n no other game can do it, and so and you guys really showed it off at its best. So, th thank yeah. you so much for for that event, and we're looking job, forward guys. to seeing more. And thank you, Farah, for for coming back to to stream, because. Because you're the best commentator. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You're my favorite commentator. Just, okay. Cool. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, what are we talking about today? We're, we're going to be showing off a little bit of the new Doku rifles that, uh, that are going to be going into the yeah. game soon. They're work, in, they're work in progress right now. So, uh, uh, but, but we'll be showing you guys what we got so far. Um, also, we're going to be in, uh, introducing you guys to a new team member. Uh, you, you've already uh, talked to him a little bit on Reddit, but we're going to be bringing him on so you guys can see him. Uh, also, we're going to talk about the construction changes that, that, uh, that Drew's been working on, uh, show, show, off, show them off a little bit. Also, uh, we're going to tell you guys what the Advanced Specialization Program is all about. Yeah, we, we haven't even told you that ASB stands for Advanced Specialization yes. Program. So, so, so the ASB the ASP stands for yeah. Advanced Specialization, specialization Program. <laughs> and ASP. Let's see. <laughs> oh, and uh, also on this stream, we're going to be doing giveaways as usual. Uh, it's going to be the same system as we usually have for uh, raffles. If you type anything, uh, especially nice things about Rel in the uh, the chat, that uh, you, it'll enter you into the into the raffle. And uh, uh, and Roxy's going to be handling the uh, the chat, and uh, we'll let you guys know who won. Uh, so with with without much ado, let's okay. kick it over to uh, to Rel here to talk about uh, battle rifles. Yeah. Okay. So uh, battle rifles are an extreme work in progress right now. The, uh, don't don't take any of the stats that you see as uh, as law or fact or whatever. But um, you can see the models uh, that are in the game. The audio is uh, it's pretty close for the the TR and the NC. Actually, I, I think the audio is done. The animations are pretty close. They need some polish. But uh, VS1 is not uh, not set up yet. But we'll see that uh, in the the nearish future. So uh, the point of the battle rifles, uh, these battle rifles are going to be uh, more like heavy battle rifles. So instead of the the more spammable uh, uh, Adelon uh, AMR 66 and the other one, uh, the the Warden, uh, which are all the same stats, we decided to to make a new set of battle rifles and add some Empire specific flavor. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to click a, a few a few times here, but we'll, we'll talk about the uh, the mechanics that we kind of intend on doing. A little bit. So this is the NC one. Uh, you can tell it's got like this, uh, this chunky sound. I think it's legit. Nice. I like it. Yeah. yeah. And let's go to our. Yeah. So the uh, the TR one is is fully automatic, and you can tell these uh, the magazine sizes are going to be pretty low. This may or may not be the final numbers, but uh, yeah. So the TR one has a rotating barrel, but still slow firing, like all the battle rifles. I like that, that buzz. Yeah, it's got that whirring in the background. Yeah. Nice and mechanical. Yeah. It's legit. Yeah, it's not bad. And there's, there's some magic <laughs> happening with the animations <laughs> yeah. right now. A little now, bit but of animation yeah, stuff there. <laughs> yeah. uh, so again, work in progress. Uh, the VS1 doesn't actually have sounds right now. I can show you the model if you'd like. Ta-da. Yeah, that sounds oh. And I, I've heard some of the sounds for this, and I was really disappointed we couldn't quite couldn't quite sneak them into the yeah, stream. No, today. we we just got a sound drop today, so so we're, we're cutting it really close. But yeah. you should see these things uh, 
on PTS at some point. Like, uh, probably not this week. Maybe next week, uh, potentially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Speaking of PTS, uh, Drew is going to be on PTS later. So yeah. if you want to get your clients downloading now, uh, you'll be able to mess around in there. See if you can find them. Mess around, uh, like mess them up and. See some of the new up. mess them up. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, see some of the new construction stuff we'll be talking about yep. when that when we get to that part of the stream. All right. So uh, those those are the the battle rifles. So some of the mechanics that we we've been wanting to do fun mechanics for all the Doku weapons, but we've kind of been like missing it uh, every because we've we've been yeah. trying to push out these weapons. Yeah. Uh, but for the battle rifles, we're kind of content to just just take our time. Yeah, mm -hmm. we yeah. want to make sure that we get those unique game mechanics in there that just really yeah. add something new to the game with the with these rifles. And uh, we're thinking piercing as a, a mechanic for, mm -hmm. for the NC, and I know Paul's working on that right now. Yeah, so, um, you know, uh, being able to shoot through someone to hit someone else. Uh, there's uh, a lot of it is... That's what NC do anyway. They I shoot through <laughs> someone to, <laughs> to hit someone else. Exactly. It's like a faction-specific trait. Just, we just need it to be through the enemy twice. Right. Um, but yeah, so... Um, the physics of the bullets are pretty deep in the engine, and uh, we're essentially just trying to find exactly where we detect that collision as we move it forward in space. Uh, notice that we've hit something. Um, find out how to uh, continue it going and ignore the thing that we're currently inside of, so we don't just get like a million collisions on uh, that same target. There was a we were talking earlier, like in the week, about uh, a bug where there was like a headshot in a different game that like it hit him twice in the head, so it did not only extra damage but twice as much yeah. extra damage, huh. and just one shot people. Yeah, so it's like a we want to avoid things like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. once on the way in, once on the way out. Oh yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and then like you know, seeing if we can give designers tools on you know whether it skews or whether it uh, does less damage or something like that on the second hit. Just yeah. all sorts of stuff. Yep. Yeah. So fun mechanics. Uh, when we find time, we're we're trying to to work on those. Actually, um, we've we've knocked out a, a number of uh, interesting design tools mm -hmm. that are going to go into. Uh, t we're doing more implants uh, later. It's to be to be announced when they drop. But we, I mean, we'll probably show them off. I could probably bit. like scroll through the icons right now. <laughs> <laughs> you want it? Yeah, you want yeah. Some of this. Tease it. Some tease of this it. Love. It's always okay. fun. There you go. Enjoy that. Just enjoy that a little bit. Okay. Uh, they, he, right. didn't have, he didn't oh, have. He didn't have. It doesn't even matter. No. <laughs> okay. okay. They only right, caught there a tiny go. bit of it. Yeah. There you there go. You can go. Pull yeah, out the ones that that yeah, are new. Screen cap that and start yeah. guessing as to what all they are. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> and uh, actually, the, uh, the the class specific. So we're a whole new batch of uh, class specific implants are coming out, and also the the icons were redone for the old ones as well to make them a little bit more clear. Cool. So, uh, yeah. But all sorts, all sorts of fun stuff. Let's do a giveaway. Yes. Let's do it. So uh, why don't we do that? Type so something in chat if you've typed yeah. in the last like minute or two or yeah. whatever that you're already all set. Something nice about my bios. Um, yeah, I'd say something nice about Ral. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe the way that his he's clean shaven today and he's I'm supporting. Actually, not my my uh, my razor is <laughs> like it was dull and then it broke this morning. So. I'm uh, <laughs> oh no. Yeah. See, I just yeah. skip it. I just use the the beard trimmer. Yeah. All get one of those. Anyways. Yeah. So if if anyone's either. asking about that, I ran out of mohawk. So like I just. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's gone. yeah. No, yeah. they've never seen it before. Yeah, it's been a while. I, yeah. I think I teased him with a hat last yeah. time. But this is to represent the uh, the unstable warp gate system with exactly. the, the lack yes. of. Oh, okay. It's it's actually a clear <laughs> mohawk. Um, yeah. You know. There you go. I thought it was to represent. The it possible phases in and out. It just so happens that uh, it's not. It's un a little more unstable right now. Mm. What were you gonna say, Nick? Oh, possibly a fourth faction. Maybe? Yeah, that's the fourth <laughs> faction right there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Neutral <laughs> faction. Uh, <laughs> sure. Why not? Why not? <laughs> yes, that's great. Um. So we have a winner. Diseases has won. Oh, that's oh. A I'm sorry. Yeah. Do you is that who it was? Okay. Oh, sorry. De I'm not diseases. Okay. I, I there was De a mistype in the chat. Diseasel, which is either a diesel weasel or or also diseases. It's just dif yeah. it's a different type of disease. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but thank you and uh, thank you for being here and congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring Drew onto the stream. Okay. <laughs> we'll have Paul back. In Get out of here, fourth faction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, neutral faction. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Oh sure. All right, how are things going, guys? Hey, welcome. Yeah, we we have a new member of the team. So some of you may have uh, run into Drew before already on Reddit, and uh, y you've been doing a lot of a lot of interaction with the community. Yep. yep. So far, yeah, about uh, the community's favorite part of the game. <laughs> so so that's uh, it's always a lot of fun. Um, 
could you tell us a little bit about uh, where you are from, uh, what your background is within sure. the gaming industry? Uh, so I've been at this studio for about five months. Uh, before that, I was at Wargaming uh, Seattle, uh, working on an unannounced project. And then before that, I was at Destiny, uh, or at Bungie, working on Destiny. Cool. Um, so I've been both a tester and a designer. Um, I also come from a, a background of some very um, high-level competitive gaming in yeah. both Team Fortress and Overwatch. So Yeah, cool. Yeah. Right. So. <laughs> yeah. No, we played over a lot yeah. Overwatch last night. And so. Yeah. So far, Drew's been blowing our minds about how quickly he's able to learn all these right. tools. And yeah. just, uh, construction is one of the just like, I don't know, just maybe disor more disorganized parts. Of yeah. The yeah. So uh, construction has been uh, it, it's been a good uh, learning like a training grounds for for Drew because it incorporates uh, a lot of different uh, elements of the design pipeline and the uh, the NPC behaviors, which a lot of the construction elements run, uh, elements run, is uh, is probably one of the more convoluted, um, kind of like finicky, yeah. and it's very difficult to uh, to navigate. So being able to deconstruct that and uh, and kind of poke around to see what what works, what doesn't, and um, and so sometimes what should work, what should work but doesn't, <laughs> but yeah. doesn't. There's yeah. uh, there's a lot to do in the system, but it also pertains not just to construction, but to everything that we do in our game. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of things that I've learned recently that um, there's been times where Rel has come to me for help on a few systems and How stuff. How dare you? I know. How dare you? I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there has been a few times where uh, where yeah. there's systems that. We don't really understand, yeah. and, and that we need to kind of figure no, out. No, no, it's it's on, funny so. because we're we're like coming across new like uncharted yeah. <laughs> waters like every <laughs> every day. We'll just like learn something, something yeah. new. Yeah. So it's uh, but it's, it's yeah. Across yeah. the entire game, it seems like we're constantly cleaning things up yeah. and re-engineering, yeah. making it more reusable, and allowing for ourselves to right. expand on the. Actually, game. Paul is is really big on that. He makes it. He makes it a, a focus to to continue to uh, to clean things up Don't just and make them in. extendable yeah. for the the future. For Doing sure. things yep. the right way instead of the the fast and easy way. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so Drew, you're going to show off some some fun construction yeah. stuff. Yeah. So um, over the past few weeks, I guess past month or oh, so. Oh, uh, can we switch yeah, over to Drew's screen? Let's kick it yeah. over to Drew's screen, please. So over the past month or so, we've come out with um, three new uh, items for the des defensive side of construction, um, as well as one new activatable ability. So uh, I have a base here, um, and we have a few new things. So the first thing, the thing in red, is the Pain Spire. Um, so it does about 50 damage per second to everything in this 15 meter radius. Um, it's very effective at both kind of giving you a reason not to approach this area, but um, it's not too strong, so if you move into it for too long, um, or if you move into it for a, a short amount of time, you can you can kill it pretty easily. So we should uh, l let's back up a little bit and uh, and talk about why we want to to sure. change the construction sure. system. So the construction system right now is very um, set up a base real quick, uh, put a hive inside of it, and then just let it go. Um, it's very, uh, I guess, as someone coined the term, uh, meat grindery right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, infantry turrets, uh, air turrets, all of these different things are very um, aggressive and uh, kind of make it not fun for offense in right. general. Yeah, we want to move the the I ideal behind construction shouldn't be uh, invincible fortresses. It should be more uh, like blockades. Uh, so things or bases that you construct to interdict um, with with a normal lattice flow or uh, or to project power, you know, to uh, to different uh, lattices instead of just building in a hole somewhere. Yeah. Uh, and actually, we'll be talking. So we're going to be removing hives in the future, but I'll be talking about that later. Sure. Cool. Yeah. Um, so for that, um, we've also removed the invincibility from walls. So you can hit the walls now, and you can kill them. Um, repair modules do heal them very quickly, but not as quickly as um, uh, as it could be. So um, yeah. it's effective, but you know you can take it down with a, a group of people fairly easily. Um, so some of the things that I wanted to show off was the structure shield module. So we've taken this and we've added a new feature to it. Um, so we now have a hack for it, basically. So uh, it's an activatable. Over about 15 seconds of holding this down, um, you get 30 seconds of uh, invulnerability for all of your walls. Right. So and it only affects the, the rampart wall and the blast walls as well. Yeah, that's yeah, right now. Blast walls, is, it's, it's a nice feature to have because, uh, oh, so just to back up just a moment, uh, 
we removed the invincibility. Did we mention that? Yeah. From from walls? Okay. Yep, yep. Uh, and blast walls have never actually yeah. Yeah. Have never had a place. <laughs> We're fixing... Okay, this is a graphical bug. We're working on yeah, it. Yeah, we call it Hall of Mirrors. Yeah, We're fixing the, it. <laughs> yeah, the Hall of Mirrors stuff is, is going to be going away. Yep. Yeah, sure. at some point. So um, but we... Uh, so right now you can see the, 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 uh, the wall is invincible, so there should be uh, a visual indicator. Oh, here come the, that, uh, oh, yeah. they found here come, here come the trolls. <laughs> they found you. Uh, so for this moment, we should probably mention. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, Get it. Uh, so we've we mentioned this in some uh, patch notes a while back, but yep. uh, it's worth mentioning again. We have uh, commands. We can leave it on Drew's, sh on sure. Drew's screen. Uh, we, we added commands to the game that are the slash ignore commands. So if you type in slash ignore, you'll get all the all of the uh, sort of usage uh, help for uh, for that command. But basically, the t the two good ones to use when you're streaming are ignore space request space refuse and ignore space tell space refuse. And that'll just sort of make it so people can't really send you uh, messages. Yeah, actually, uh, Drew, yeah. can you go to and the if you select the items tab, you'll make it so even people can't oh, even yell better. anything. Yeah, there you go. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, so, yes. so we have a person who's burning uh, right now. <laughs> from the pain spire. From the pain spire. Yeah. Hey, Drew, real quick, can you go to the uh, the settings menu uh, yeah. in the interface? Uh, interface. Sure. Yeah. Show people real quick, so you can see ah. the top, uh, the bottom, what five? The oh, bottom four, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So they're also exposed there via the uh, the menus. Right, and those actually update uh, once you if you, if you were to do the commands by hand, they will also update uh, this menu as well. So yeah. there's no disconnect. Yeah. So if you're a streamer. It's nice to have, for sure. For like sure. It, it solves that one problem that we saw where a streamer ended up getting a, 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 a request yeah. from yep. a random person to yeah. be the, the leader of their squad. Uh, th there's additional sort of functionality to the command that uh, if you use the slash version of it, where you can add people to like sort of a, a, a loud list. A white to, list. Uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, just if you have any questions about it, let us know on the forums. But uh, Yep. Yeah. So the flail? Uh, Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, sure. Okay. So uh, Drew's gonna, gonna grab the uh, the little targeting device out of the thing and then run around. Actually, I already have it. Ah, he already so. has it. Okay. So the the flail is actually uh, it's an artillery piece. Right now, the the model's temporary. Everything you see with the uh, the pain spire, the the flail, and actually the the router, which we'll be talking about next, is temporary artwork that'll be uh, done at some point in the future. And uh, this open. is an uh, artillery piece, much like the the glaive IPC, but it fires uh, anti-vehicle shells. Yeah. Yeah. Hit it. Do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, we're not gonna really see it coming, but well, you never see it coming. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so much like the the glaive IPC, uh, it fires uh, shells up into the air, and then they will rain down at desired location, and. Uh, Perhaps. Right now, is the is the dart spammable? Uh, it is currently uh, for test, though okay. in the future we are looking to reduce that. Yeah. Or remove that. Creating limitations. Although it's not uh, working. Is it broken right, right now? So nice. excellent. Are Perfect. You are you beyond the, the uh, limit? Uh, I shouldn't be. No. It would okay. it would tell you anyway if you were. Okay, um, yeah, it would yeah. delete the dart. So maybe we just jack something so up with our last. It's test. it's possible. It's we might have broken something. It's, yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Um, it's a yeah a rare people rare are possibility. people are killing my things. Okay. Okay. Well then, actually, um, is your uh, is your AI module up? Oh, that would be smart. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So while we're doing that, um, uh, another item that we uh, put together is a, a routing spire, and yeah. Drew will show it off in, in just a bit. But uh, the routing spire is why is it black? The, the, the little dot. Yeah. The bottom. Oh, it's it's green on his screen. Okay. It's green and blue. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, the green screen effect is working oh. on the uh, oh, actual that's side that of the makes screen. sense. Huh, that's neat. <laughs> no, well then, okay. okay. So the uh, so the routing spire. What you do is you place a spire, and uh, spires are similar to modules, except that spires have uh, different uh, exclusion areas. So the intent is to be basically stronger modules that uh, are placed further away from one another. Now, uh, at the routing spire, you can pull a router out, which is. Uh, Similar to the the old Ford Spawn concept that we have, have had on test for a long time. You're probably fact, not going to like keep it held out the whole time, no. right? You'll no. throw it into no. your inventory. You'll run into right. a base where you yeah. want to attack. So these uh, these routers can be placed anywhere. So they're just like a standard deployable. You can place them within bases themselves. They're not jump pads. That's unfortunate. Sorry, <laughs> random blue person. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but uh, yeah, so you can t the intent is to take them into lattice spaces and help fortify your, your offensive push. So instead of solely relying on Sunderers, you have uh, another 
uh, like a, a more logistical element that creates, you know, it has some limitations, the limitations are important. But it allows for you to place, get, get some spawn points that are deployable into right. places that senders can't uh, reach. Right, exactly. Yeah, they yeah. can go within no deploy zones, they can go indoors, which is a big thing as well. Um, the the route, uh, routers themselves, once they're destroyed, you have to go back to the routing spire, pick up a new one, and then transport yourself back to the base. Right now, I believe uh, if you die, they, they just stay. But they you. should. St uh, I'm not sure. Okay, we'll but they're not about. supposed to. So we want to uh, to be able to take them away from you uh, if you die or if you redeploy uh, and that sort of thing. If that guy, <laughs> if, if he does it, no. If he keeps talking his horn, just nuke him. Just nuke him. <laughs> Good to know. I'm not gonna stand that crap. Okay. I yeah. And speaking of horn. speaking of crap. Yeah. The toilet horn is not coming yeah. back. Oh, it's yeah. not coming back. It's not coming but back. The, but the rest of the April Fool's items will be coming back. Right. Yeah. But not the toilet flush horn. No. That has been now become a there exclusive item right. that you, if you purchased it before, <laughs> yes. you, you, you can know it's a rare thing it's now. It's rare. Yeah, it feels uh, special. Or it's becoming more rare. Uh, yeah. But it will not be available this year for the April Fool's sale. Yeah. Some Aww. people really hate that horn, it turns out. Yeah. Yeah, some people. Odd. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, okay, so so here they come, the sweet embrace of death. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, and Drew is invincible right I'm now. I'm invincible. But yeah, so. yeah. But uh, well, let's keep hammering the same location, or is it just a one and done? No, it's just a one and done. Okay. So um, it actually deletes the object the moment that it fires. Sweet. Um, which is really interesting. Yeah. Uh, so you'll have to you'll have to recast it, which means longer exposure time for you as a player uh, to be sitting within the area and try to get this guy. Try to get this. <laughs> oh, good come luck come sit in here. Yes. Come, come go, go, summon him. Go <laughs> land right where <laughs> that, sit right that here. impact zone yeah. is. There you oh, go. Yeah, there you stand go. Go. right there. Okay. No, no, no. Come, come back. Here. Come here. Come back. Do do uh, do a dance. Come, come back. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll, get, it. we'll get it at some point. This, this is going to happen. Yeah. He'll, he'll happen. stand right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do Do crouch dance. Crouch up and down. Yeah, we're Good. all dancing together. There's yeah, not, there's so not impending so doom fun. coming. I sure hope that it actually works. Cause oh, that. there it is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I missed. Oh, wow. Oh, well. Okay. okay. Um, so anyway, it's intended to be <laughs> uh, an anti-vehicle weapon primarily. <laughs> yeah. So, it suicide. Works. Uh, so one of the other things that we wanted to bring to construction um, was an offensive side. So we wanted to make it a lot more... Um, more than just using prowlers from a long range or using right. MBT specifically to kill yep. this thing or max uh, crashes. Yeah. Um, so one of the things that we wanted to do in general was um, bring a new method of, of uh, taking down the walls and taking down the modules and whatnot. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can drop another dart. Um, and part of the way that we, we wanted to do that was, was making ants more than just a go get cordium and then come back, or right. uh, making ants more than just let's go ram some people and, and go kill them that way. Yeah, so that which is, great no, part which is stays, amazing, yes. and you should, you should keep <laughs> doing that. Yeah. Um, but part of it for us was um, taking some of the objects that weren't ever used um, and making them more usable, I suppose. Right, and also, uh, so uh, oh, did you mention that it's creating siege damage? Well, that was that was how how we got this to happen okay. was was using yeah. siege damage. To okay. Uh, so the the ants right now, uh, the the howler specifically, mm -hmm. and the, the howler yellow and the yellow jacket, yeah, yep. will be able to to tear apart uh, construction objects to, uh, rather quickly. Yeah. And and that creates a sort of a risk reward because those uh, those vehicles are very short range. Mm -hmm. And also, if you're running the yellow jacket top laser, you don't have the ability to defend yourself really outside of ramming people and. Uh, throwing them around like John Cena. Um, if you, uh, ooh, yeah, we need to, we need to shore we this need up. To, we need to tighten up the need, Yeah, I think we do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a good test. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, not going nothing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. So we added the offensive element that um, allows you to to go siege a base, uh, and that's something that everybody has access to. Uh, with the, the top-mounted mining laser, which previ uh, previously wasn't really used uh, no. before. I mean, it just, I mean, it helped you get cordium, but who's going to sit in the gunner seat and help you do that? Um, exactly. So, yeah, uh, not too bad. We're still working on a bunch of stuff there. There, you gotta, you gotta kill. Um, <laughs> nice. Okay, <laughs> we'll take it. Uh, construction. We're, we're still working yeah. on it. Yeah, no, we're still uh, moving forward. No right? ETA right now. Probably... Maybe next month. Maybe next month. Yeah. Um, we'll see. Uh, I kind of want to make it around the same time that we do the other stuff that you're going to talk about later. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, uh, it, it, it has to be. Yeah, honestly. in tandem with that, yeah. for sure. Cool. Um, but going forward, we kind of want to make it more of a uh, soft base rather than these hard, invincible fortresses. Yep. Um, but we also want to make it um, more interesting for the, the players, both yeah. making them and destroying them. Yep. Being able so to interact, so things like the, the overcharge shield. Things like the structure shield, shield and, yep. and other things, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Cool. You guys uh, want to move on to the next segment? Sure, sure. But before we do that, let's do another giveaway. Another giveaway. So, uh, same rules as before. Type something nice in chat. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Roxy will be something running the nice. raffle here in a moment. <laughs> real nice in chat. And while we're waiting for that, well, let's uh, let's bring Paul back. Yeah. yeah. Thank, thanks, Thank Drew. Thank you, Drew. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Let's see. What are we doing next? Aha! The uh -huh. whole point of our stream is oh. coming up next. The schnoz. Yes, the schnoz. Ah, excellent. Uh, Let's, let's go ahead and have Rel walk us through the, what the ASP system is. Yes, let's do that. Let's the, do that. The big reveal. That ASP. <laughs> let's get all up in that ASP. <laughs> <laughs> is this a PG stream? That's fine. Eh, it's fine. I think it's PG enough. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so the advanced specialization program. Okay. So um, apparently someone um, named <laughs> Fact My <Can> Cack. <laughs> Won, won the, the raffle. Congratulations to Fact My Cack. <laughs> Drew's we're cracking up in the back, which is making me worse. We're, we're still we're still a PG stream. Thank yep. you, Fact My Cack. Yep. <laughs> uh, and soon you two will be able to get all up in dead ass. Um, so, uh, yeah, w whatever. Uh, the point of our stream, uh, Advanced Specialization Program. Uh, is what is the Advanced Specialization Program? The Advanced program. Specialization Program, uh, as some of you may have guessed, is a, a new progression system aligned with uh, Prestige. Yes. Uh, it's a Prestige it's, it's system. It's similar to a Prestige system, yeah, but similar. better. Yeah, better because we don't steal all your stuff. Yep. yep. Like <laughs> that's, so that's when you Prestige, you reset your battle rank, and yeah. you keep all of everything but you go back to battle rank yeah. one, prestige level one, or uh, uh, ASP level one, as yeah. it is. For sure. Yep. So how would we go about doing that? Uh, so uh, I, I have multiple thoughts in my mind right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, wanted, I wanted to mention uh, mm -hmm. that you know, we, we were asked to, to do a, a level uh, increase. So instead of just uh, pushing out the battle rank, which is I feel is it's, it's not only lame. I mean, it's lame. It's kind of lame. It's, it's not. Lame. It's not it's exciting. We it's we decided yeah. we could do something better. It's not exciting. Oh sure, not exciting. Um, uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> we decided to uh, to make something that's a little bit more uh, interactive, a little bit more engaging. Um, so uh, we ended up with the advanced specialization program, and also it uh, it helps us do some uh, some fun stuff in the future. But uh, before we get to that, um, to be a part of the advanced specialization program, you need to be battle rank 100. And you can be above battle rank 100. I know it goes to uh, to 120, which is kind of like part of the thing we're trying to get rid of, because uh, once you hit battle rank 100, there's this uh, linear curve after that, and it just it doesn't feel. It's pretty uh, grindy. It is pretty grindy. Um, so now you get to uh, to relive your your youthful days of uh, battle rank one to thirty before you stall out again. But that <laughs> quick quick succession. Um, oh, but it feels is, so good. Yeah, it to feels go good. Down one through yeah. thirty again. Yeah, I just want them them points, them shiny. The best stuff. kind yeah. of Skinner box. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Love them Skinner box. Okay, so uh, advanced specialization program. Uh, once you are battle rank 100, you could be a member and get access to this for free. Um, or you can pay uh, 10,000 certification points, which uh, as a free player is, is your uh, your maximum. Yeah. Um, so you'll you hit that, the unlock, and you will become a part of blah, blah, blah. Um, you will gain access to the advanced specialization program. And also, uh, I, sh I should have showed it before, but you can pre preview the skills and see what you'll have access to. Now, uh, advanced specialization points are something that you'll be earning uh, once every 25 battle ranks, and you also get one at, at battle rank one. So, as a total, you'll get five battle rank points, or five uh, prestige, <laughs> dang it, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, ASP <laughs> tokens, yeah. um, uh, a maximum of five. You cannot circle back around once you hit battle rank 100. We uh, have control of that right now. It's not uh, an infinite grind um, loop here. Although we may make it one eventually. Well, I mean, we, we certainly want to extend it, but I think part of the uh, the the exciting part Yes, of very exciting. That was so hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's excited. Okay. Um, yeah, so the exciting part of, uh, of having a new battle rank is, is uh, or battle rank cap is that a bunch of people are going to God, can you, can you turn your okay. audio that down works. a little bit? Um, yeah. 
is that a bunch of people are going to be moving alongside you uh, and, and going through the, the same process as you. I, I think that, that kind of uh, it feels you know, yep. like, a, like something significant when, when the BR cap gets raised. But, uh, and having an infinite loop kind of pulls away from that. Anyway, so some of the, the skills that you'll have access to, and again, you're only going to get five points. And there's this uh, list of like, what, eight, 20 uh, something uh, skills at the moment. And potentially we will add more in the future. Yep. We tried to play it uh, really safe uh, this time around. Um, and uh, so, well, I'll get into it. But yeah. Infiltrator can get things like uh, carbine access, which is kind of fancy. Uh, or sticky grenade access, which is kind of fun. Flash grenade access. There's a lot of uh, grenade sharing between classes, but we also tried to uh, retain the uh, some of the style and flavor. Yeah, yeah. And so expanding it to, uh, we wanted to to give you some sort of uh, multi-class style element, but without detracting uh, too much mm -hmm. from the the purpose of the class. So the abilities aren't touched, tools aren't touched. Um, it's a it's a lot of. Um, uh, access to to different primaries, or to put some of those primaries in your your secondary slot. Um, There's and co considerations grenades. like the anti-material rifle, right? Right. Yeah. So originally, um, so one of the things on the list was to give the engineer the ability to use an anti-material rifle in the secondary slot. But if that was the case, uh, it could potentially throw <laughs> throw a balance out of whack by just like uh, making it too accessible means that. Uh, there is essentially no trade-off, which means that maxes don't even stand a chance anymore. So uh, just things like that are taken into consideration. Like I said, really safe, and potentially we can expand upon this in the future. I see there's no max ones there. No max ones. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> but it is truly a specialization. You know, one right. of the, the fantastic things about class gameplay is is people tend to gravitate towards what style they enjoy playing the most. And right. this gives them an opportunity to double down or specialize or fill in some of the, the weaknesses of uh, that particular play yeah. style. Yeah, we're focusing uh, more on expansion of, uh, of a play style instead of uh, power uh, increase. I mean, you have maybe some exceptions you can make the argument for, like, uh, well, some of the weapons going into the secondary slot. But uh, this update is also being coupled with um, uh, we're buffing pistols across the board at the same time, except for the commissioner. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's going the other direction a little bit, um, and nothing, nothing crazy. Sorry, don't make don't, don't get, freak don't out in yeah. chat. <laughs> you guys will see the changes yeah. soon. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, try yeah, so them out, we check them out. Don't make judgment before you can yeah. right. get yeah. get your hands on. We always want you to have uh, to al allow the pistol to be a viable uh, secondary because it, it has some traits like it's, it's the fastest to, to pull out in a. Uh, once you run out of ammo on your main weapon, mm -hmm. like that quick, remains the quick thing. Quickest draw. Yeah, quickest draw. Uh, mm -hmm. It's it's got got a uh, great hit fire for most of these things. So spend one of your points. I want to. Okay, see fine, something. fine. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Uh, <laughs> so since engineer is my most played class and coincidentally has the most. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna harp on that bias. <laughs> um, okay, so my engineer now has access to a, a shotgun secondary. This is probably gonna be the most controversial one, so I'll just let's get out of the way <laughs> right now. Put it, just put it out yeah. there, right out of the front. Uh, yeah, so let's let's do a battle rifle in my my main hand and then the, the shotgun in oh my you gotta offhand. Yeah. yeah, do magic, magic tricks. Okay, so now I have the the battle rifle for uh, for my long range combat here. I'm gonna switch my. See, you see that? This comes that, out that so slow. Yeah, it does. It does. So yeah, and that's, those, that's the those two second draw yeah. times so are used deaf in clutch yeah. situations. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. show. But uh, yeah, so that's that's kind of part of the trade off. Yeah. Uh, so. It's one of the things you have access to. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Kind of fun. There's a, there's a bunch of other abilities and that sort of thing. Yeah. Lots of lots of grenade sharing. I think that's um. That's, so that's super fun. So this ASP program. It sounds like uh, we had to mess with some pretty fundamental things with the game. It, it sounded like a pretty major technical problem there. Yeah. How did, um, how did that all go, Paul? Yeah. So it was it was pretty involved. So the um, experience system is pretty core in the engine. It's it's a fundamental part of our gameplay. It's something that's been around since the beginning, since this engine was used for other games. Um, so picking up the whole thing and putting on another layer of it, of uh, having an entirely new set of ranks that you can rank up into and making sure they go to the next one properly and making sure they display in all the, you know. 30, 50 areas in the UI that they show uh, was kind of a, a whole ordeal. Um, the metaphor I've been using is like popping open the plate of the, the electronics we have and just like slowly pulling the board up while making sure that none of the uh, uh, wiring has been severed and like trying to fit 
like the prestige system underneath so that it just rests on it and does exactly what everyone would expect it to yep, and yep. everything yeah. like that. But you oh, know, it's don't like that. Yeah, we, we don't want to mess it up for you. We just, so we're we're trying to make sure that we we do as as fantastic of a job as we can. Yep. Sorry, like I just revealed the the fake uh the fake rent system. Oh, the oh, rent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah is, this is not a thing. There is no rent system. This system no. is not a thing. So that's a vestige yeah. of an old. Yeah, mm, this was this has been that that system for really years having. and years and years. But yeah, yeah um, so I mean, you you guys have put tons of times into these these uh characters and just yeah. like you know thousands of hours or whatever it's, we want to make sure that we do it right we want to make sure you have fun doing it and experiencing this new right. thing yeah it would have been uh it would have been a lot easier probably to just dumpster like all of your experience uh and then and <laughs> yeah. just no, start yes. over from scratch. <laughs> but yeah but so we made we made considerations for things like uh like stats.dawsonfall uh is a site that tracks your experience and it kind of projects what battle rank you should be and that sort of thing and we didn't want to disrupt uh any of that for the the community and um yeah because that's the considerations that we make because we care about that sort of thing yeah when you so. when you prestige over it doesn't instantly level you up like 30 right. times or whatever yeah you yeah. know just lots of little things that go yeah. into it but you know and we, we're we do it for you because it's a we we want you to be happy yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we are adding or already have added the api uh endpoint to look up your mm -hmm. asp rank so yep. for those stat sites they're going to have access to that on the player Cool. Uh, of records immediately mm -hmm. so and we're, we'll be updating our own site as well so that information will be on there as well for sure uh, a lot of the places where it shows the uh, within the UI like you can sh show up where it shows your battle rank instead it'll show like a dot or not a dot a star yeah. next mm -hmm. to your battle rank to indicate your uh, your ASP rank I love the name I'm sorry that makes me smile every time. <laughs> oh, <you> <laughs> um, so uh, T7 mini bla blame, blame gun. gun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you can tell star. Um, uh, and this is your prestige icon. Actually, you should be getting a uh, a title as well, but um, the the data is for that isn't uh, isn't set up yet. Yeah, we're still working um, on bits and pieces of it. Yeah. Polishing it up. Yeah. And make sure it's all ready before we flag it to go live. Yeah. Cool. Uh, exciting. Mm-hmm. Exciting. Um, so. That that was the ASP system, and uh, we hope you guys are are getting excited about it. And uh, let's see, uh, let's do another giveaway. Yeah, we'll do our last giveaway of the of the stream. The exciting thing is so difficult. <laughs> it's really <laughs> difficult. <laughs> yeah, if you guys haven't noticed, we're saying exciting a lot. Yeah, it's hey. really exciting to say it's exciting. Really exciting. So many we times. just love that word so much. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we and I'm it's very exciting to me that someone might be playing a drinking game where they yeah. take a shot every time we say exciting. Mm -hmm. We they, they we don't want to kill our player base. We just <laughs> we want them to have fun. Well, we want them to be excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah. Um so yeah, that that was the ASP system. Uh why don't we Oh, let's see. And steak and hey, cheese steak VS. And cheese, yes. Steak and cheese VS won yeah. the raffle. Congrats. Congratulations steak and cheese. Congrats to you. Now I want a steak and cheese. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so now that we've revealed this, do we want to talk a little bit about what we're going to be working on beyond the ASP update? Absolutely. Sure. Okay. So in the, the near future, uh, some of the stuff is, I mean, we've had a lot of things in progress. Uh, and they're just not ready to be revealed yet on stream, but uh, we'll get there. Mm -hmm. So uh, things like the uh, mentor squads coming up soon, the, uh, the squads in general getting, uh, uh, some of the UI has been done. There's plenty more to, to yep. do, but yep. that, that's kind of get, getting Some an Some of that will be well. coming in this upcoming update, and there's lots yeah. more to come after yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else? What are we even doing? I wrote this down for a reason. Okay. <laughs> uh, pre mount on content <laughs> events uh, are coming up. We, we talked about this last stream, but uh, we want to add uh, small, engaging uh events that kind of diversify gameplay uh, before a continent is able to be captured uh, through the mountain mm -hmm. alerts. Yeah, with, with the removal of hives, we need uh, a different way to, to prolong that experience mm -hmm. and to give them something to do and, yeah. you know, all sorts of fun little mini games almost. Yeah. No, not, uh, mini, that's not mini games, but like gameplay variants. Right, right. Yeah, mixing up the, that experience is, uh, should be good. And we can use it for like learning experiences. So if uh, if there's an alert, I think I used this example last time, but if there's an alert that gives you access to, to air vehicles, you know, nonstop, and then has you go capture like air capture points, uh, that would allow like new players who don't typically get an experience or a uh, fun flying experience because they're shot out of the air by aces, um, 
but if you expand that and like make that the goal, you know, for a lot of people on the server, you can create these massive area battles and that sort of thing, and, and get some flight time in for the newer players. So there's lots of uh, ways that we can tailor these experiences. Um, so that'll be, that'll be coming up. Meltdown is also getting changed back to the uh, to a uh, winner take all sort of alert. Um, so that'll be on the, the docket as well. And uh, uh, oh yeah, so we're also <laughs> I know it. I forgot about it last time too. Yeah. Uh, we are uh, redesigning the spawn system. That's that's on our to do list. Hopefully for yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Just do it, it from scratch. Yeah. Just start all over. I might yeah. need to. That Just do it again. There's like. When you spawn something in this game, there's like ten different things that it may go through. It's yeah. it uh, could be cleaner, yeah. and hopefully it will be by it the will time be. we're done. It will be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So things. Uh, if there was any some, <laughs> if there was any silver bullet for uh, alleviating zerging or uh, just helping disperse the the population and get players to the the fights that they want to be at and the fights that are engaging for uh, both sides, that would be through uh, making the the spawn system more. Uh, easier to, to understand, uh, easier to read, and also divert you to uh, places that um, that the game should should probably be diverting you to in the first place. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that, that's going to be a big focus of ours. Um, we're we're at the very least going to be starting work on that uh, this coming month, uh, or rather, getting into work on that on this month. Um, and uh, yeah, those are the the biggest the big ones, immediate yeah. terms. Yeah. So something that I wanted to bring up is that uh, when the ASP stuff was going on, a lot of people were mentioning. Uh, that oh I hope it's outfit progression and we do too, but yep. uh, that that's <laughs> outfit <laughs> progression stuff is the outfit stuff in general is toward the end of the year, so uh, kind of put that out of your mind uh, for the time being. Um, Still something no, we're no, interested in. I, I don't put it out of your guys' minds. Okay, keep uh, it in your mind. Keep it in keep it in your hearts. Keep yeah. and keep talking to us about it. Like yeah, right. it's it's something we're very interested in, and there's just stuff to get to first. Yep. Right. It's a very yeah. large system. It's got yeah. much larger than what ASP. Yeah. Is so multiple uh, systems. Yes, honestly. it's going to be affecting so. a lot of things. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm very glad we did ASP now and not later because right. then we'd have even more stuff to overhaul by the if we would have done this in the, uh, the other order. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and just going through the the motions has kind of given us um it's given us tech that we're going to be using in the the future anyway. So, yeah, a lot of these these pieces that we're knocking out. I mean, you may not see it on the the surface, but everything that we do kind of leads into uh, the next thing. So. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I think we're ready to take some questions from the community. Uh, but uh, before we start taking questions, just wanted to mention that we did notice that Recursion is uh, getting flagged by BattleEye this morning. Um, should be fixed now. It should yeah. be fixed now. Yeah. So uh, we we alerted the BattleEye guys that w uh, th that Recursion was all of a sudden being flagged. They, they noticed it as well, and it should be fixed now. They had to restart a couple services and, and get the whitelist to load correctly. So. Yeah. So don't need to ask that question. Huh? <laughs> when when is the ASP oh, coming? That question. Oh, soon. So, uh, <laughs> it will be coming to PTS hopefully by the end of the day. Um, we are trying to get it done by the end of the week. Yeah. It'll be it'll it'll be next week That'll if it's fine. not this week. Everything as will be soon fine. Soon as we can. Yeah. It's it's sort of a system that is a little bit higher risk than a lot of the other things that we do. Yeah. So we need to test it thoroughly. Um, it's so far so good. We, uh, mm. Most of the bugs we've seen are pretty surface level things, uh, but we're making sure to test a lot of different uh, mm. use cases and characters. We're, we're gathering mm. characters of all different, uh, because yep. it turns out it matters whether or not you're testing with the character that was created before the ASP up, uh, update or after it. Uh, and so we're paying very close attention to that mm -hmm. because right. of course the characters created before the ASP update are incredibly important to us. And we've uh, we've taken uh, we, we put a focus on actually giving customer service some tools to. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So um, one of the other things with the the prestige stuff is like making sure we surface it in the logs everywhere. So when someone comes to them and says, "Oh, hey, I need you to refund me this and give me this many certs and stuff," they can actually go in and look and see what's been going on when they uh, when they leveled up when they uh, what things they what skills they purchased and that sort of thing so making sure everything all our uh i's are dotted and our t's are crossed yeah that sort of thing do you want to take that next one uh, i well sort of uh, talked about yeah, it for uh, a moment so there's a question uh anything new in combating zerging so redesigning the, the spawn system is, is going to be the one of the biggest efforts that will help uh create more more balanced fights so uh and that's again that's a focus that's something we'd like to do uh, is anything new coming to PS4? Any of these systems? Yes. 
Yes. Yeah. So the, uh, these systems are all going to PS4. Right. Um, uh, so the only thing that that construction well, no, no, not construction. Right. Not the only thing that's oh, really out yeah, of lockstep that. with with PC is construction, and you have pretty much everything else. Um, and we we continue to to uh, we we want to keep it that way. Um, or rather, not. We, not we want to keep, keep it as in step as possible. Right, <laughs> right, yes. Now we want to keep it so you just you never have construction. Yeah. Well, no, we we are interested <laughs> in bringing construction over, yeah. but there's there's a lot of yep. work that needs to be done before it gets to that point. Yeah, lots of concerns. We don't. Yeah, we don't want to dumpster the game while trying to give you you know this this, this yeah. fun feature. Yeah. And you, we know you want it, but we we know you want a working game too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I did see uh, optimization pop up there. Uh, and w w it is it's one of our goals this year but uh but the main the main thing is w w we as a team are, are focused more on the uh, delivering some systems that we f feel are going to build engagement the optimization is is a secondary effort that uh, we're trying to spin up uh, on the side that's not directly the, the dev team right so yeah uh, those those efforts uh, for the most part lay outside um our so team yeah, we have like a no no team. promises yet yeah. but mm -hmm. yeah it's it's something we're constantly pushing for yep we want it as much as you do. Yes. Yeah. Maybe more. Probably. Uh, yeah. Most likely more. Uh, any changes to the alert rewards? Hmm. Uh, so with the uh, winner take all alerts, that'll be he'll be more likely to actually uh, win those rewards, um, and we'll we'll start there, and then be able to, to iterate on it after the fact. And also when the uh, when the smaller alerts, the, the mini alerts, events or whatever, uh, come out, that's those will also have alerts tied to them as well. Or uh, rewards are tied to them as well, and um, yeah. So the the reward structure may need to to get an overhaul, but we're still in the process of of yeah, um, just laying laying all that out. Bastion fleet carriers. Did you want to? Hey, show can you switch to my screen real quick? Just switch to my screen real quick. So you probably need to fly. Nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice! That was a nice uh, little warp there. There you go. Okay, that's done. You can't actually enter the vehicle. I'm sorry. That's a tease. <laughs> that's a tease. <laughs> but uh, so Bishop was working on the the collision, and uh, a rudimentary, rudimentary pass has been checked in, so you can actually like run along it and that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, it's looking looking pretty legit. So it's starting to be usable in game it's right. gonna uh, you guys can start imagining a time when this becomes below the flight uh, ceiling yeah. and uh, you can actually start interacting with it yeah. how you're gonna interact goes with here. it turret goes here uh, that's one of the ways you'll interact with it <laughs> yeah. turret uh, goes there <laughs> oh, Turret's going here too. Ah. Yeah, turn <laughs> straight into it. And then uh, the last question is uh, on the the Asia server. Uh, we're still trying to get an Asia server spun up. Uh, pretty much almost all the technical details of making that happen ha uh, are, have been worked out, and now it's just a question of actually uh, um, making it happen. Uh, but the details of of how the accounts will make their way onto the Asia, uh, Asia server, uh, we still haven't figured that out either. So. Yes, it's it's it. The, our plans to do that have not gone away. Mm -hmm. uh, forward progress is being made. Yes, it's just slow plotting forward progress. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, that'll be the last question. Uh, so just wanted to thank everybody for coming to the stream today. Uh, we're super excited to show you. I'm glad we got to tease a little yeah. bit of the Bastion. So exciting. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> to, uh, to, but there's so much other stuff that we're working on that can't, we're not quite ready to start ta telling you guys about. Yeah. Uh, so post ASP, we are going to be doing some really exciting stuff. Exciting. Mm -hmm. But uh, thanks, everybody, for coming to the stream today. Bye. Bye-bye.